Welcome to Key Tech. Please describe this channel if you are interesting in today's video. After the chip rule was launched, American companies began to cut off supply to Chinese companies, trying to delay the development of China's semiconductors by blocking the supply chain. They never thought that they would force Chinese companies to independent research and development. It can only pressure the allies to carry out joint suppression. The Quadruple Chip Alliance was formulated against this background. The main body is an encirclement formed around Japan and South Korea. Cooperation, but the true meaning of the Quartet Alliance is well known to the world. Japan is currently following the pace of the Biden team. It has been officially announced that the new regulations will be implemented on July 23rd. The scope involved has dropped to 45 nanometers, covering the shipment of 23 core making equipment and auxiliary materials. British media seeing this, he also bluntly said, Japan is even more ruthless than the United States. The reason why Japan is willing to be this bad guy is that it has received the promise of lifting the ban. Everyone knows that the decline of Japanese semiconductors is due to the suppression of the United States. Be tough, any compromise is based on the condition of not giving up the Chinese market. Once the United States exerts more pressure, South Korea will eventually compromise, which means that the Chip Four Party Alliance will definitely take shape. But at a critical moment, the spoiler of the alliance appeared, and the European Union began to take action, directly intervening in Japan. Hand semiconductor layout, the Biden team's plan failed. The European Union has become a spoiler. For the United States, European countries have always been the most solid allies, and the betrayal at such a critical moment can be said to have caught the Biden team a little off guard. According to overseas information sources, the EU is deepening its cooperation with Japan and South Korea. Cooperation, and stated, aiming at the problems of the Chinese semiconductor market, we will take different measures from the United States. At present, the EU is guiding Japanese companies to enter the European market and will provide large subsidies. In addition, it has also begun to throw olive branches to Korean companies and will cooperate to guide innovative research programs in the semiconductor field and conduct in-depth technical exchanges. Obviously, the target is obvious. The European Union seems to be following the pace of the United States, but in fact it has never surrendered at all. The betrayal of the European Union has made the United States somewhat uncomfortable. After all, since the implementation of the chip rules, European countries have always been the most loyal followers. With the changes in the European Union, the advantages of the United States have gradually been weakened, and the whole situation has undergone great changes. Once the EU joins forces with Japanese and Korean semiconductors, there will obviously be a significant improvement in technology. At that time, the imperfect American semiconductors will be further dragged down. Today's American companies are still highly dependent on the manufacturing process of TSMC and Samsung. At least not within five years. In addition to isolating China's semiconductors, the United States has another important factor in launching chip rules, which is to make countries with core technologies relatively independent. Originally, it was almost impossible for Japan and South Korea to cooperate in semiconductors, but under the bridge of the EU, 
there are already signs of corresponding cooperation in the follow-up. This is what the United States is afraid of. The Quadruple Chip Alliance itself is unstable. If Japan and South Korea have a better choice, they will definitely not compromise. In addition to the United States, Japan, South Korea, and the European Union have the most top technologies in the world. Under the combination of strong forces, it is very likely to achieve technological autonomy. Regarding the EU's invitation, Japan and South Korea have no intention of refusing and are likely to wait and see the attitude of the United States, but the potential threat is already in front of them, and the EU has stated that it will hold an agreement with the United States regarding the Chinese market. Different attitudes, this is good news for Japan and South Korea, after all, their companies are highly dependent on China's market share. Biden's plan is about to fail. After the introduction of the CHIP Act, the European Union has made it clear that it will enhance the voice of global semiconductors. At first, many countries were not optimistic about it. After all, European countries do not have any advantages in this field. Only obedient enterprises can survive. However, with the containment of Chinese semiconductors, the focus of the United States' suppression has begun to shift, and the European Union has instead become an important partner. Therefore, in this process, the Biden team naturally dare not take ruthless hands. Moreover, many American companies will now start production. The scope has shifted to the European region, and doing it at this time is tantamount to losing both sides. Once the EU forms an alliance with Japanese and Korean semiconductors, the follow-up discourse power in the field will definitely be improved. Once new research and development technologies are born, it may not be impossible to get rid of American technology. China is naturally good. The more threats there are in the market, the more the United States will be distracted to deal with them. This can buy more time for the development of China's semiconductor industry, but there are also certain risks. Once the EU compromises again, China's opponents will be completely not the same. What do you think about this?